all right hello everybody we're back with another video and this time i believe we're gonna do the water pump i will have to show originally my car was making uh two different types of noise one of them of course was the famous tick which is the uh lifter what do you call those damn things the lifters in the arms the rocker arms and the lifters um and then after that i could hear a different noise and i watched a couple videos and there's another guy who had the exact same night noise as i did and his happened to be the water pump so i'm going to assume mine is the water pump too and that's what i'm doing right now so it looks like i'm gonna have to remove another guard this black piece there's another black piece right there you're gonna remove like that uh shield guard or whatever and from the part because i got a book i used to have the chilton subscription um but i got tired of being logged out of it it's like come on now we're working on a car i need you to stay logged in for more than five minutes no exaggeration but you know what i mean so i got a book but it still didn't quite show me what the picture was but i think it's this smooth black black um i don't know what you call will pull willy pulley something anyways it's a smooth one with no ridges so I believe it's that because I was looking at the part on Amazon and it's got the pipes coming out of it. Sorry, I'm trying to do this camera and flashlight at the same time. So you can see the pipes out of here. So we're going to be disconnecting some pipes and there's going to be a couple of bolts. And from what I understand, it looks like we may be needing to... Um, lift up the engine a little bit so it looks sounds like we're going to be removing the uh, engine mount which i've done in a previous video but i'm hoping i can get away without doing that so it's going to be another one of these fun videos where we kind of experiment to see if we can do it without lifting a whole bunch of shit. uh-huh uh-huh and i don't know maybe not because that pulley might be in the way so i think that's why we got to remove the mount and go in from the top to loosen up a couple bolts um but that is it right there so um luckily on your guys's end this video won't be too too long on my end it was gonna take me a while because i for once am not in a rush to fix my car all the kids are out of school and i i have been taking my sweet time doing this so First off, remove the wheel, take your belt off, um, remove the splash guards that are up in here. I think I'm gonna take this one down too. Um, I got my up on jack stands, so that way it frees up my jack when I gotta support the engine and push it up in order to get to those top bolts. Um, but let me, I think I wanna get in and loosen up those, those pipes. So I'm gonna need some uh, clamps. Oh, before we even do that, those hoses, there's two hoses over here you gotta release. Um, you have to go over and drain your coolant. So if you don't know, come to this side of the car. And up in here, that little notch right there. Okay, I have a tie. This little red cap right there, you're gonna need to uh, open that up and drain out the coolant. And I got a bucket for that. And I think I need to replace some coolant as well. And um, I'll be back after I disconnect the hoses. Okay, so I'm back. I'm not sure where I left off at, but I am draining right now. Uh, sorry, my fat ass just got up and sat back down. Um, the coolant. Whew, out of breath. And they say that if you take this off, then... Um, it'll drain faster so what i forgot to do was do my battery so i'm gonna do oh shit i forgot that my uh, my battery thing was eroded too so that was another issue we were having uh power failure on the way back from mexico so all this stuff luckily we were able to get home because that would have been one hell of an uber ride so i need to grab some stuff clean off my battery terminal and uh actually unplug it so we don't do something else while we up underneath there so i will be back okay i'm starting to get a little better at it Woo! yeah i got it all right 
One more hose to go, and of course the little thing is behind. My hands wore out already. Huh, I'll be back. All right, so I couldn't slide the metal piece down, but if you get some vice grips to hold it, because I was starting to get a cramp in my hand, and pull the hose. There we go. We got it. Yeah, I got it. And drop a tool in your fluid. Yay, that was fun. All right. Now, let me find out the size of these bolts because there's going to be like, fuck if I know, 20 bolts on this thing. Uh, now that my gloves are all dirty, let me touch my phone. Yes. All right. So, these bolts, I'm not very good lighting, there we go, these bolts, this one, this one, that one, I'm not sure at what point it cut out, but all those little bolts, not that, that's an alternator, so just stay on this piece of metal. So yeah, that bolt, like I said, they're going to be, I don't know, probably about 20, 30 of them. Um, I see. That one, that one. I'm trying not to touch the alternator. This one. And be careful, your boobs will get caught on this thing. Booby. Okay. Uh, All right. Belt is down and out of the way. I'm almost pretty sure I can reach all of these bolts. There's going to be a tight squeeze. Let me see if I can picture this correctly. Who's side of my camera on? Oh, that's why. It's on that side. Okay. There we go. All right, so, hold on, let me rest my neck. Okay. 
So I'm pretty sure I might be able to reach all of the bolts. I think. Because there goes one, two, three. Let me see if I can get up on this side. That one might be it. I think that one's it. There's another, there's one right behind this hose. This hose, there's another one back behind there. So I'm gonna try to do as many as I can. And then hopefully if I get a chance to, I'll go on out of zone and show you where the part is. So that way you can see how many bolts exactly is on there. Uh, Cause there's quite a few. <sighs> My little set up my fan because mosquitoes love my ass um and now i'm like fucking hit it working on the battery got to get a new one of these so i'll probably post that at the end of this video uh, but let me go ahead and i want to say those bolts are going to be 10 millimeters or 10 because that's a 10 off my battery so I want to say 10. I can find out what the hell I did with it. There you are. Definitely an extender for some of these. So it's definitely going to be a tight squeeze. Um, let's see. So let's see. I got a ratchet. I'm gonna take my 10 and 11, see what happens. Uh, i take my 10, 11, 12. And probably a stubby one. Should be good. This is my 11. I think that's too big, so I think it is going to be a 10. So, let me hold on. I'm trying to get my extender on. So we got our 10 milliliter. And that feels to be right. Righty tidy lefty loosey, right? Righty tidy lefty loosey. And that didn't take a whole lot. Normally, I got to put my whole body into. So that one didn't take much. I got to try to remember how tight these felt when I did them. Because I don't always have a torque wrench on me. So, yeah. Seems like hand tighten. Um, if you want, I could try to find the torque set towards the end of this video. But they seem to be kind of hand tightened. Not like strong arm, but you know you definitely want a good tug on it all right so i'm gonna loosen all those i'll let you know which ones i couldn't and if i come back and i'm showing you how to take off an uh, engine mount you'll know that we need to take off an engine mount anyways um each of these bolts are gonna be slightly different let me turn this fan on for a second so make sure you keep track of which bolts you take out where so i got my little setup over here and so far, I've got two bolts left, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm, I think I might be missing a bolt. 
Huh. I'll see when I get back under there. But so far I've been able to get everything out from underneath. Also to note, uh, let me get my, you can get to two of the bolts from above without taking out anything. If I can, there we go. By going in between here, you may want to take off like that part right here, but this bolt right, I just lost track of right there. There you go. Can I see it from there? So it is up underneath this bracket, but right there. Can you see it? Right there. There you go. So you can get to this one, and if you reach back, you can fill another one. Those two will have to come out. It's right underneath this bracket, of course. That's your uh, mount, your, one of your motor mounts. I think that's the right motor mount. Um, so you can definitely fill it from underneath there. I've got a ratchet wrench that I can either do it from there, because my arms were getting tired up underneath here and reaching, or and I felt like there was 12 bolts, but I don't know if I miscounted or not. So you see where I've started taking out bolts. Oh, another thing to note, I don't believe that one is a part of the water pump. Don't pull that one out. And I think that may have been one I was counting. So I gotta figure out where I'm out, where I'm off on my counts. So I've already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, another thing to note real quick is you will see that bolt right above the, just north of this uh, pulley. And you can definitely see it, not on the black piece, but right above the black piece, you see that bolt? There's gonna be one right below it, you cannot see it. Do not pull that one that you can see right there, but you're gonna reach around and feel for the other one. That's the one you wanna pull out. So, don't pull out that one. Feel behind this black thing, you'll feel it. Uh, and then those two bolts I showed you from above, come on camera, all right. Thing right there so I can clearly reach those so so far everything by hand I've been able to reach from underneath here I think the only issue I've had right now is I'm getting a buttload of hand cramps trying to get this sucker out uh, also sorry uh, the two that I'm trying to loosen up up there the really long ones right there those two right there uh, that's a different size I think that's a 14 millimeter so 10 for the rest of them and 14 for these two and then if I find any more, I will let you know. Okay, now I can see why they may have wanted us to lift up the engine, because the bolts stopped there. And actually, one of them is 13, and the other one is 16 millimeters. Uh, so no 14, just 13 and 16. So they stopped right there, so hopefully that's enough clearance where I can pull out the water pump. But like I said, it's a very tight squeeze. I'm still going to try to do it without lifting the engine and removing engine mounts and stuff like that. Um, but I feel like I still need to find at least one more bolt. So I'm going to go get a mirror and try to look up behind where I can't see and see which bolts I'm missing. Because I do feel one back there, but I'm not sure if it's part of something else or if it's part of this thing. So, um, yeah. All right, I guess I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> I need both of Oh, thanks, son. It's good to know. Can they both me? All right, so I pulled out my book last night, <clears throat> and so we do get to remove this uh, idler pulley, this one up here. Uh, so I'm gonna work on that next, because um, I knew there was 12 bolts looking by the new part. So that would be the 12th, I believe, is this uh, idler pulley bolt right here. Um, and then I will be back. All right. So here she is, that's the idler pulley, and I used a 13 millimeter, uh ratchet wrench ratcheting wrench whatever you call that uh 13 millimeters to take that off um i'd probably say about a medium hand tightness yeah between medium and hard what am i doing next oh so now that that is number 12 so i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven and twelve i left up in the van so i'm going to try to see if i can't I have no idea if this is upside down or not. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like if you take this flathead and kind of you 
see it start to move. I can feel it releasing. So I'm gonna play around this a little bit some more. When I come back, hopefully I will have a water pump sitting on top of my toolbox. All right, so that is going to be a no. And one of the reasons is I don't think the bolts are completely clearing up here. And then two, there's this little niche right here that you won't be able to pull out because there's no clearance up here. And you can't pull straight down and then pull it out because there's this little niche right here stopping it from being able to go down and then pull out. Uh, so I'm gonna go up top and show you guys how to take off the motor mount um first thing i want to do is i've already got it up on stands i always because i'm very nervous about going up underneath the car i always pull my jack back out and stick it up underneath just for adding extra making sure the car don't fall on top of me so i'm gonna take that off and then i'm gonna support this side of my engine underneath my oil pan so i got a piece of wood that i like to stick between the jack and the pan and I'm gonna set it up in here, just slightly put pressure underneath it so it doesn't drop. And then I'm going to go up top and take off the mount. And um, once I get that taken care of, then I'll lift the engine slowly and just enough clearance just to lift this up, not too much, but just enough to clear wherever I need to go up top. And uh, we'll finish up top. So give me a couple minutes and I'll be back. So I know my videos could sometimes be long and tedious and that's usually because I'm doing something for the very first time. So I'm gonna try to go through this relatively quickly. So we want to take that thing off. There we go. Um, where's my short steady one? I got a short, my short steady is gone. <sighs> So much for quick. All right, I had a short and stubby one. Let me see if my husband has one. I probably stole his and lost his as well. I've got like a list of at least five tools going right now that I got to replace before my husband realizes I'm missing. All right. Um, fuck it. It's just gonna be a pain in the butt. You're gonna loosen up. I used to do the one over here, but I realized this one is just easier and it comes off in one whole piece. I guess it would help if I took this off. So those two pieces. This is why I like short and stubby. <laughs> That's what she said. All right, there we go. Are you out? Ten. Thirteen is better. I'll push that off to the side. I think that was all I needed for this part. Oh, this Christmas tree right here. And it's got a little nubbin underneath. You just gotta pull it up and it should come out. All right. Just setting crap any old wear. Um, here is our mount. So, let me go ahead, try to remember what I did last time. Shoot, I might have to go back and watch my own damn video. <laughs> uh, okay. That's what the box was uh, stuck on. So you just got to pull it up and out. Uh, give me a second. Let me go back and check my notes. 
because I feel like it's these three, not those two. I think we established that before. So these three bolts right here, these two, of course, down here. And then, um, yeah, let me double check. I'll be back. All right, so I've already loosened up these five bolts. And if you don't know about my favorite tool yet, I had always thought breaker bars were, you know, kind of, I don't know how to describe it, like rigid. I did not know that you could find a ratcheting breaker bar. I got this sucker probably last year. It's one of my favorite tools. I'll show you in a second if you don't know. I got it from Harbor Freight and it is awesome. You might want to disconnect the grounding cable. There we go. That is the bracket. And this is the actual mount. Okay, so I put those two pins back in. The camera fold absolutely sucks the stupid side buttons. Okay, so these were the two we pulled out before and just pushing them back in. So now we have clearance to raise the engine a little bit. So just raise it slightly like I said this we got a board underneath there and um, a little prayer never never hurts to make sure I don't do anything too stupid so I just want it to clear and I think I am gonna remove the mount because I don't want to lift it too much I just needed to pass this metal part right here this silver metal part my fat hands in the way I just needed the bolts to clear this so I could pull the bolts out. So, and if I gotta raise it above this black part, I feel like that's too much of a raise. So we're gonna remove this one and one more over here. That more than likely may be a 16. Yeah, 16. Oh yeah, here's my ratcheting breaker bar. Harbor Freight, one of my favorite tools. Okay. And then I just got a long ass uh, extension. All right, so let me go ahead and remove that mount. Stop sliding. And I think those are the only two bolts. So, you know what, my video for doing this last time, this was probably a shorter <laughs> way of showing you guys how to take this mount out. So I'll be right back, I'm gonna remove that. Okay, so pull that out of here. I wonder if I get enough clearance. Nope, just a little bit more. It's not a good fix unless you drop something. All right. And I think each one of those, even though it's the same size, no, they're two different bolts. I remember one's a 13 and one's a 16, I believe. So keep track of which one is which. I'll grab that one later. Now that I have this out of the way. Oh shit. Okay, so when replacing the mount, you don't have to remove this metal part right here. but it looks like I may have to in order to get the water pump out. Ha! Huh. This just gets deeper and deeper. We are going on an adventure, peoples. All right, let me see if I can... Because this whole piece is loose. It's just a matter of sliding it out. All right. Um, well, you guys will see firsthand what's about to happen. So let's go ahead and remove these two bolts right here. One, two, facing this way. And uh, hopefully nothing else falls off. Uh, 16, 16, I think that's a 16. Where are you? I've never removed these ones before, so yeah, it's a 16. Uh, all right, now that we got that off of there. It's just a matter of figuring out where to go in here. You can hear it 
loosening, so maybe I can just pull the pump by the hose parts down here. As you can see, it's ready to come out. There's some sealant stuck back here. So I don't know if I would have better leverage going up underneath and pulling it out. Come on. Ah! Make sure you tear up your van. That's part of the process. And I don't know what's it. Oh shit, I got that board in the way. I can't go up underneath. Um. So one of my greatest fears right now is I've gone through all this shit and then it is not the water pump. Um, but I will post a link to the video because I didn't get a, a video of the sound beforehand because I usually would like to try to do that so that way you guys can tell if it's the same sound or not. But another gentleman had posted a video and my van was making the exact same noise and he said it was his water pump so that's what I'm going off of because I'm good at replacing ish uh, but I'm not very good at diagnostic like I said I'm not a mechanic I'm a prior Air Force missile tech um, and so that's where I got a lot of my tech skills from and it just kind of overflowed into casual activities taking apart my van trying to save me some money um, so it's a little bit about me but it looks like I'm going to have to <laughs> I didn't plan this all the way through because my board is so damn long Ugh. let me see if I can how to get this part out. Okay, okay, we got it, we got it. It is leaking everywhere. Oh, great. So, on the new part, you don't have this little, at least not in the picture we saw on the website. So how do I know it's actually my, um, I'm going to be hella upset if I go and buy a new $113 part, $115, whatever, and it was not it. Because I don't got time to be playing games like that. Okay, so I did say this video was going to be about removing and replacing the water pump. So we did do that. I just now don't, maybe don't believe 100% it might be my water pump. So that's what I'm just going to run a couple of tests on my own to see if I can figure it out. If, if it's not going to be the water pump then i have a feeling whatever this pulley is back here i gotta research and find out what it is but that big pulley with all the threads i don't know what that one goes to and if not then i was looking at my ac clutch the ball bearings or whatever is inside there um so those would be my next two if that's if it's not this water pump which i'm like i used to think it was about 90 percent maybe 95 percent now i'm thinking maybe like i don't know 45 percent uh so i'm gonna just I have literally no idea what I'm doing, <laughs> so I'm going to just try a couple of things and hopefully I can figure out what this noise is before my engine explodes, because um, that would be extremely bad. Not that I wouldn't have fun replacing a whole engine, but it would just be expensive. Like if I had money like that, I would have been just replaced the engine and then like bump all this nickel and diamond shit. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I think maybe after this I might try to do like a quickie walkthrough type of like two minute thing for those who like to speed through or I can just try my best at better editing. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right. Have fun. Um, and real quick while I'm in here, I forgot what valve solenoid that was. We did a video on that. There is that. Your engine rockers or your uh, rocker arms are inside this back part and this front part here. And that's all I could think of to point out over here. Yeah. All right. Bye bye. Okay. Just for shits and giggles, I figured I would try a little experiment. Because I'm not 100% sure if this is my water pump is bad. It doesn't look bad. There does look to be some etching in here. I don't know if that's a sign of anything. Um, but I found a. I found and got stuck on here a inch and one eighth. Hopefully I'm spinning it in the right direction. So Let 
try the other way. Oh, so I can't tell. I might have to call up my mechanic and see what he thinks. Have it. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Was nowhere in your room was on that.